Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for a moment like this. Beloved, this is the day that we are alive. Shall we pray this morning? Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, this is another day that you have given to your children around the whole world. As we are alive, it is by your power, it is by your might, it is by your authority that we still are alive. We breathe because you alone is worthy to be praised. Oh, ancient of days, without you, we cannot make it. So you alone is worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you. Son, we give you all the glory. Holy Spirit, we magnify the name. We thank you as you are about to teach us your word. Let your word sink into our hearts so that we will know your word and we will live with your word. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving, amen. Good morning, beloved. The listeners of Kanawu, I welcome you to Pillar of Christ this morning. Without wasting time, God has given us a message. So shall we go into the message? The title of the message is Gathering or Scattering. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ that we can find in the Gospel of Luke, which is Luke 11, and the verse is 23. Shall we turn our Bible to Luke 11, 23? And this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He who is not with me is against me. And he who does not gather with me scatters. Beloved, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, there are two kingdoms. The first one, it's about the kingdom of our God Almighty. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. The other kingdom is satanic kingdom. That is Lucifer and his demons. Our Lord wants us to know that you and I, we are for him because we are his children. And beloved, let us see something. On this earth, our earthly father, if you don't have a father, you are fatherless. And it will hurt you, first of all, in bringing up, because there is nobody to lead you the direct way. Christ wants us to gather, meaning to know his word, to let the word abide in us, in our hearts, daily. We will study his word and to work with his word. Secondly, to watch and pray daily. By doing this, we are gathering for our Lord Jesus Christ. Gathering means witnessing to people to know about our Lord Jesus Christ. Gathering means the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ must be preached, praying for another, praying for one another. By doing all these, we are gathering to win souls for God's kingdom. 
as souls should be won for Christ, our Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I will sing a song to glorify our God because he's almighty. Whatever he says, it surely comes to pass. Amen, amen. Praises and glory and glory without thanksgiving and honor and honor. Power and might belongs to our God for and for and ever. Amen. Beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ loves us so much. Christ said, He who does not, who does not gather with me, meaning you are a disobedient child. That means you have departed from his kingdom of God to satanic kingdom. This satanic kingdom does scatter. It is an enemy to our Lord Jesus Christ. Satanic me kingdom means you hate Christ. For example, what God loves is to win souls for his kingdom. And Satan wants souls to be in hell. As prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah 14, and the verse is 11. Let us read in Isaiah 14, verse 11. And I read, your prom is about down to Shiloh, and the sound of your string instrument, the maggot is spread under you, and the worm cover you. This is prophet Isaiah describing about hell. Maggot will be your cover. Oh, God Almighty, have mercy upon us. Father, let us know you so that we will be with you. Hallelujah. Beloved, what we read, the prom, we all know, at the end of uh, high school, when you finish high school, in America here, they go to prom, dress up in evening wear with their partners, and they go to dance floor. And the violin and the instrument will be prayed. But the maggot in hell will be your cover. Look at from evening wear to a place where a maggot covers you. It is a terrible place. So, beloved, we all know that in Isaiah 66, heaven is God's throne, and this earth is his footstool, as the Bible let us know in Isaiah 66, verse 1. The kingdom of Satan does not allow people to know the word of God. That's number one. They are blocked. They don't want to listen to the word of God. Two, instead of reading the word of God, they don't want to. Four, they don't fellowship with believers. Also, they reject salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Another thing is unbelief. Another thing, Doubting, doubting the word of God. How can you doubt the word of God? Beloved, they believe in themselves or say, I, I. Self-righteousness is another. 
they trust their work. And all this, and also proud, the spirit of proud, and all this, let them scatter the work. These are the works of Satan's kingdom. Christ wants us to gather as he wants his children to be with him like he, like in John 14, 2. And he says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I will be, where I am, you may be also. What a great assurance. Hallelujah. By our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, we give him all his glory. Amen. Beloved, we should gather by working hard. As the Bible let us know in Revelation 3.20, Revelation 3.11, rather. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast that you may have that no one may take your crown. That is Revelation 3.11. Beloved, meaning that we should hold our faith faith in Christ forever to the end, so that the crown we can win, or the reward, only Christ can give us the reward. We should work hard concerning our salvation. The more we win so for his kingdom, the more we will receive his reward or the crown, and we will be with him forever and ever. What a faithful God, a loving master, the ancient of days, the unchangeable God almighty, the one who knows is to come and was, and the one who is to come, God almighty. I give God the praise and honor and adoration for his word that our heart is hunger and thirsty. For I take this opportunity to bless the prophets, the wife and the children, and also the viewers, his listeners, may God, that's all your heart desire. As God is a faithful God, we give him all the glory and honor. May he bless we all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. <laughs>